But yeah, who, who do you guys vote for in the um, general election? Who do you guys vote for? I'd be interesting to know. Um, wasn't an amazing turnout for for it, considering. Wasn't wasn't a great turnout. But yeah, I'd be so interested to know where you guys uh, voted. It would definitely interest me. Vote share. Yeah. Hey, we've got so many seats. This next government is going to be so interesting. Because they got so many seats. If the party whip can, if the party whip can, you know, sort themselves out and get everyone singing from the singing from the same hymn sheet, then this Labour government could be very powerful. It could be. But who knows? You know, the Conservatives got obliterated, which doesn't surprise me. Um, Fourteen years. There's no. There's no. There's no justifying. You know, 14 years of being in government and by every measure the average person is worse off you know it's, it's that bad so th there was no way they weren't going to have a huge loss in my opinion so Labour you know landslide victory but even though they, they didn't only won increased by less than 2% to 34% you know 34% of the votes and you've got such a huge majority in government it does kind of speak to how broken our political system is in the UK, but hey ho, <laughs> it's not it's not going to change because as long as Labour and Conservatives are in power, which it will always be one of those two, um, then they're not going to change it because if it's a two if it's a two horse race, why are they going to then start giving reform Lib Dems Greens more, more of a chance? You know why why would they do that? But hey. Let's see what Labour does. Who did you guys vote for? I imagine probably a lot of you voted Labour or, or Conservative. But hey, but probably, you know, 14% of the vote was for, was for reform. You know, they, they've got a big population. And, and I understand it because, you know, Nigel Farage, a very, very likeable guy, probably the UK's most popular politician. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah I'll stick by that. I think he probably is, you know. More people probably know... Rish, they probably know Nigel Farage more than they know Rishi Sunak. I'll say that. Yeah, I'll say that. I think Nigel Farage, because he's more than just a politician, you know. Rishi is is just a politician. Keir Starmer just a politician. Nigel Farage is a media, political personality and commentator. You know, he's on these shows. He's on social media. He's doing podcasting. You know, he's he's definitely probably the most popular and. That's probably what helps him help to reform get so many votes. In addition to them putting their main focus on immigration, they they think immigration really no, no I won't say the root of all evil, but if you can sort out immigration, a lot of the other problems kind of fall into line. Is is their way of thinking? Um, but to be honest, I actually voted Liberal Democrats. Uh, yeah, I voted Liberal Democrats. Um, anyone want to know why? I'll tell you exactly, because to be honest, it was between Lib Dems or Greens for me, and I'll tell you why. One reason, one reason I me, they want to legalise weed. They want to legalise weed, so the Liberal Democrats got my vote, and I felt the Liberal Democrats had more chance of winning than the Greens, and they got 72 seats, which was an insane result for the Liberal Democrats, you know. I think they've been given quite a bad rap following the 2010 coalition but that was 14 years ago the party's changed a lot it was it was the manifesto i read and, and enjoyed the most you know i would love to work with them potentially in some capacity around their their um weed legalization uh, rules because i think a lot of people in the uk even though i was out last night everyone smokes everyone smokes you know even if they did like a referendum but they didn't do like a nationwide referendum because a nationwide referendum i think the uk is still very old-fashioned and there'll be people in you know middle england northern england who just think oh you legalize weed everyone's gonna be smoking it my kid's gonna be smoking it there's gonna become a bum you know all that but in london if they did like area by area like in for the major cities you had one referendum, should we make weed legal in London? Yes or no? Should we make weed legal in Birmingham? Yes or no? Should we make 
read legal in Liverpool, yes or no? Manchester, yes or no? Newcastle, yes or no? Sheffield, yes or no? You know, do it for those cities and then be like, okay, the people of this town have spoke. They don't want it legal here. Okay, so it won't be legal here. The people in London, is like 70% of them want it legal. Okay, it's going to be legal in London then. You know? Because really, if you want... And this kind of goes back to the prisons. Like I said, if you really want people to be out of prison and have a better life, then you need to stop them with people going to prison. And when they go to prison, they need to be able to come out and, you know, be truly reformed and not want to go back to a life of crime. It needs, it needs to be easier for them to live a straight, a life on the straight and narrow than going back to a life of crime. Yeah. Because if it's easy to go back to a life of crime, then that's what you're going to do. Of course it is. We're humans. That's our nature. But the first step to doing that, in my opinion, legalise weed, stamp out the illegal market. I mean, in theory, stamp out the mass illegal market that encourages violence and then have a you know structured cannabis market that defeats the street defeats the illegal market on three fronts affordability availability and quality if you can win on those three fronts then there will be no illegal market but if you just legalize it and then you don't deal with any of those three factors then you'll just have a legal illegal market you know you just have people selling weed on the streets and not getting arrested for it which to be honest wouldn't be that bad but at least if you had a legal regulated market, you could take off the market, which is what the Liberal Democrats talked about. They wanted a legal market so they could take off the super strong, uncontrollable, you know, weed, the skunk that is really doing the damage. That, you know, the problem problem with it, people think all, all weed is the same. And it's not. But um, if, if people actually understood what they were voting for in, in a referendum like that, and to take skunk off the streets and replace it with legal weed, I actually think you get a lot more votes to legalise it than, than not. But people don't want to listen. They hear weed, oh, it's illegal, it's a drug. I, I don't want nothing to do with it. That's that's a lot of people's thinking. But game is game. Uh, reform, 14% of the vote share, but not enough votes into seats. Shame, but... I'm sure Nigel Farage is used to it. Same thing happened when he was in UKIP. But that that shows that reform, we need to reform the UK political system, but it won't happen because you've got these two in power. And they're only interested in winning. They're not interested in democracy. But hey, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, that's what I like. I've seen all that yellow, man. Yeah, that's that, that's that Lib Dem, bro. That's that Lib Dem. I want to see that yellow. That's that Lib Dem. Yeah, man. Let's go. That's that Lib Dem. Goats, bro. Look at the goats.